Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen, which usually means that it's new synth day and today is no exception, but there is a bit of a difference because before I can demonstrate this synth to you, first I have to build it. This is a weird sound generator designed by the late, great Ray Wilson over at Music From Outer Space. Uh, it is a supposedly very simple uh, DIY kit, but I suppose we'll see how I get on. Uh, I bought this kit from Soundtronics here in the UK. I'll be putting links in the description. Uh, so I bought the PCB and component pack. Um, I've organized my resistors uh, and uh, organized all of my other components right here. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the resistors and just see how I get on. So there is my populated PCB. That took about 45 minutes to do. Uh, might have taken slightly less if I had remembered that not all capacitors are polarized. Um, I still have to mount the ICs in their sockets, um, but I'm not doing that yet so that I can keep the ICs safe for a couple of extra days. Uh, and once that's all put together, I need to wire it to the front panel. Now I had made a temporary front panel using one of Ray Wilson's designs uh, printed out and mounted onto some foam core board, but then it occurred to me that I want to make some modifications. So I want to put some blinking LEDs on it and a volume knob. Uh, so I've made my own variation on Ray's design. Uh, and also a metal front panel will be way better for grounding the unit. But I can't move forward with that yet because I'm still waiting for my aluminium to turn up. So I sense a jump cut coming on. Well, here we are over a week later uh, due to the current ongoing situation. Uh, mail order things are being prioritized for most essential items. So I had to wait a little bit for my supplies. Uh, but everything has arrived today, including my sheets of aluminium and my replacement bench drill. So today we are going to continue with the weird sound generator uh, and I'm going to continue with the front panel. Uh, wish me luck.
So I did have a couple of setbacks, but I do have a workable front panel. Uh, for the sake of time and uh, desire for a specific uh, final finish, I haven't yet taken the uh, protective film off the aluminium uh, and I've just drawn the functions on in Sharpie. Um, I've cut a hole for a volume pot, uh, but I don't have a spare potentiometer right now. And I actually broke a switch while, while getting it into the panel. Um, I do have a spare switch that I can nick off a previous project, so I will be doing that later on. But now, it's time to get soldering. <laughs> And so, finally, after all of that work, here it is. This is my temporarily completed weird sound generator. It's currently in a cardboard box. I think it's an Amazon Prime box, but it just so happened to perfectly be the right size. And at present, the front panel is a paper printout over the top of the aluminium. It does, however, work. So I think it's high time we generated some weird sounds.
So that is the music from Outer Space Weird Sound Generator. It's a fun thing to play with, a fun thing to build, it's not particularly expensive, and it sounds surprisingly good. I'm sure I'll be using it uh, as a drone in my music, and I'll probably sample it too. And right now we all need something to do, something to keep us busy, and I strongly recommend this. Thanks for watching.